Hello guys, welcome back to Talks TV. And today in this show, uh, I have here besides me, Mr. Ramdulin Infimete, uh, son of Reverend Kothanglin Infimete and Mrs. Kungtangpui Infimete. He is the topper among the Mar in all over Assam state as well as uh, he is the top three rank holder in NCL's Dimaso district. So, nice to have you in the show. And today, in this video, we are going to have a short interview with him. Uh, he is going to share us about his success story and his experience uh, in his high school life. And he is my junior in high school days, but uh, looking at his success and achievements, he, I go, I'm mo really moved as well as I'm astounded really today. I got nervous uh, having him besides me. So first of all, I would like to begin with the one question that will you please tell us about uh, your preparation for this, uh, for the HSLC examination? Actually, uh, my preparation wasn't that good uh, in the previous year, but from November of 2017, I started preparing harder because I knew that there was a very big board exam coming on. So in my preparatory examination, I studied around six, five to six hours a day. Then uh, I got 90% there, so I was still not satisfied. Then I studied harder in January, um, around five to six hours, and then I knew that we, I had to adapt some technique in order to get that good mark. So I studied all the important questions, like the questions which came in the many years, previous years. I checked the question papers of 2016-15-14 HSLC examination and then I predicted some questions which are very important. So from there I selected some important questions and studied most of them properly and I adapted a uh, specific study, study technique so, uh, so that I could remember in, in, instead of studying like instead of studying to uh, like a bookworm. So that helped me in my success. And during examination, I did not study that um, so much during the exam because uh, enough sufficient sleep and exercise are required. So I took exercises and sufficient sleep. So I studied only two to three hours during the examination. Okay, that's very good. So then we come to learn that simply studying books is not good for the students, which means we need to adopt a systematic way of study. Isn't it? Okay, well then let's move to the next question. So now um, let's say, uh, will you please share us about your source of inspiration as well as uh, the story behind your success? I would say that my source of inspiration are my parents. They teach me how to cooperate with my studies and they told me they gave me many good advices and they told me to pray to God regularly so that uh, I would uh, God will help me in my studies as well as in every aspects of my life so when I was in class 5 I first time I got I got the first position in my class then from then till date I'm still getting the first position but actually I was not satisfied when I came to class 9 then I realized how vast my subject was, so I started, I started studying harder, and when I gave my board examination in class nine, it was not that good in my advanced mathematics. I got only 66 out of 100, so I told my parents whether I should drop it or not. Then they told me, you should not drop it. Don't be like a coward. So they told, they gave me such a challenge. Even many of our friends. Some of my friends dropped advancement at that time because of less marks. But me, I thought that it would be an inspiration for me and a challenge for me. So I started to take advancement books more and more and studied like harder and harder every day. Then in annual examination in my HSLC, I secured 94. So my parents were, were very happy because of my marks. So till, uh, we, because of this hard work, I I've gained my success. Okay, well that's good. As you mentioned about your mathematics, so let's talk about your percentage. That's a huge total. You have secured 91% in this HSLC examination this year. That's a huge total uh, as well as it's a big thing especially for 
a tribal people and they particularly when we talk about mathematics right you secure 99 marks out of 100 that's a very big total especially because the hill people the tribals with the tribals we used to think that mathematics and science are like a huge mountain which is uh, let's say which we cannot move. We only think for the Bengali people or mm -hmm. the Muslim. So, but after seeing your result, you have come to you have proved those saying that it's a false because we are also human. We can do it. So, it's just a challenge uh, for the youngster, for the generations of the high school students, your junior, let's say. So, regarding that 99 marks in your mathematics, uh, what do you think that one mark goes away? Where do you think it goes away? Actually, during my mathematics examination, I completed the question paper in 2 hours 10 minutes. So I got around 15 minutes to revise. So I could revise 6 to 7 times. But I think they have deducted my marks because of one question where I got too much there. I think my marks are gone there because during board examinations, the teacher used to compare the marks. So from there, he might have selected the best paper. So I think my marks went there. Okay, no. that means we need to maintain tidiness even in the papers also, isn't it? Yes. So guys, it's very important whenever you write something, you appear in the examination, try to manage the paper in such a way that it looks clear and tidy for the examiners to see. Okay, well, then let's move to the next. Will you please share us about your future planning regarding your education? Actually, now I'm studying in Sai Vikas in Guwahati. There, they have provided me coaching for IIT. So I decided to first of all crack JWE mains and advanced. So I have decided to go for further with my studies in science stream, so that I will gain, I will get my better job opportunities in my future. Then I would like to get a good job in engineering. Okay, that's good. And whenever we talk about someone successful person, even right now you are also so to say you have achieve something really big in your life it's a, such a memorable moment for you so we only talk about the success side the celebration side but uh, many people uh, we don't uh, give much uh, what to say importance about the difficulties and the challenges they face so even you also you might have faced those type of challenges and the difficulties in your studies so will you please tell us at least two three challenges which you have come across so far and how uh, do you manage to come out from those things? Because students uh, who are watching you right now, they might also have faced the same uh, difficulties like you faced, so that they can get some inspiration from you. Yes. One of my most um, difficult, common difficulty was laziness and sleepiness. The, to prevent this, I usually kept my legs in, immersed in a bucket so that I, I will not sleep during studies. Then, um, uh, then I used to play sometimes for around an hour before my studies so that I would be active during my studies. As we, know, as we all know that uh, when we are fresh and after playing, it makes our mind fresh so that we could study harder and concentrate in our studies more. Okay, good. Then let's move a little bit, uh, let's say backward regarding our school. Since we are studying in the same school, let's talk about our teachers also. According to you, whom do you think is yeah, your favorite and your best teacher so far? I would like to choose our math teacher of class 8. Our math teacher, he is quite funny and he, as a man, he talks less, so I like him. And he's, he's, he, had a big, he has a big muscle, that's why he's so smart and he's also very good in math so I would prefer him to be my best teacher and my favorite teacher. I've given a speech on him on once in Teacher's Day. I chose him as my favorite teacher there also. Okay, well that's good. And can you please tell me his good name? His name is Sar Nehemia Sanate. Oh, Sar Nehemia Sanate. So Sar Nehemia Sanate, you are chosen as the best teacher uh, of Mr. Ram Lulin in FEMA Day. So if you are watching this video, a big thumbs up to you and congratulations for the title too. Okay, now uh, will you please share us about your hobbies in that year? I actually have many hobbies like repairing things, electrical things and art and crafts, making some th useful things from paper and cardboard papers. Then I also like painting and I also like playing football. 
and some of I, I even like carpentry. So these are some of my few hobbies. Okay, then who is your football star? Uh, I have actually many football stars, but I would love to choose Manuel Neuer, goalkeeper of German Germany team as my football star. Okay, that's good. And during your high school days, uh, you might have that very funny moment or one craziest moment you have come across in your high school this so will you please share us about that in brief yes once i was in class six i didn't pay attention to the roll call and i was given a punishment then i was also made to climb on a tree oh. because i couldn't memorize the notes so i would like to say that we all get punishments then again in class 10 my teacher one of our teacher the one whom I chose as my favorite teacher, he came out, called me out, and then he cut my hair because it was too long. Then, after that, from the day onwards, I nev I always used to cut my hair hair in a proper way, and I think you'll be able to see the proof here. Oh. <laughs> okay, that's good. Then, you, uh, as you said that you they made you climb on a tree, so that's it will be really a very funny moment. I wish I could come and see you at the time. <laughs> Okay. okay, then let's come to the last, the ending part of our conversation, our interview. What message or would you like to convey uh, to the junior, the high school kids who are watching you right now? I would like to tell you all that studies is not the only part of education. Those important, but we, have, we should have a good character and we should be overall have, have a good personality and we should struggle hard in our studies. Many people think that tuition is the source for good marks, but I actually don't feel that. Uh, you also would agree but that from class 5 till class 8, I did not take any tuitions. So, t till then I used to get first position. Then in class 9, I took tuition for advanced mathematics because there was no class in our school. Even then, only with tuition I got 94, though, of my, though some of my friends got 80s or even 70s with, with, with school teachers along with tuitions. So I would like to say that tuition is not important, it's all about your hard work. 90% of your future depends on your hard work, 5% on the school and 5% on your teachers. So you are, you are, yourself are your future. So I would like to say everyone that even though we might be from a poor family, we can still get good marks and uh, get a good job in our future. So, uh, our parents are fully supporting us. We might not have seen anyone, anyone's parents who would say that I will not give you money for education. They would always love to see their son or daughter getting success. So, your parents love you so much and so they send you for education. So, you should be proud of yourself and you should struggle hard in every aspect of your life so that you will become a successful person thank you okay well so guys never give up in studies or never give up in times of difficulties because difficulties are the one which are going to make you stronger in future as well as uh, which are going to be a lesson for you so and once again thank you so much mr ranghulin for your precious time and i think i deserve a hug too <laughs> yeah Okay, thank you so much. And guys, also remember one wise quote saying that education is the only way to unlock the golden door of freedom. Thank you so much for joining us and watching us. Bye bye, and please keep on sharing. And if you are new to this channel, please do subscribe. Thank you. Okay guys, now is the time to have a look at uh, Mr. Ramlulin in Fimete achievement as well as his treasures. So he's going to show us. Let's have a look at it. This is the award which I've got in my first examination of Jingal Zate Memorial Trust exam, which is conducted by the Zate family in Mulhoi. So, uh, I got 69.5% here and a cash price of 10,000. It was in the year 2016. And this, in the year 2017, I appeared again and I got 78.75% in class 10 along with a cash price of 10,000. 
which is for the first prize. And this award is for my extempore speech in class 8, third prize. And this is the, also the third prize for extempore speech again in class 7. And this is my prize again for extempore speech okay, in yeah. class, eight, uh, class 9. And this is my grandfather, um, Upa Elder H.S. Jaler. Was and this is my grandmother, Mrs. Bakotling. Both are from my father's side. Okay. Okay, guys. Now I'm going to show you his mother. Yeah. Okay. Here I have uh, uh, Mr. Ramlulin's mother, Madam Kung Tangpui. She is also my teacher in high school. So, ma'am, uh, how would you like to express your gratitude or thanksgiving to your on your son's uh, success? It's great to see you here. Oh. Actually, I was so excited to hear my son's result. I know that these are all God's work. And I praise God for this. I want him to do better. Let him take this as a challenge in future. And fear God. Because fearing God is the beginning of wisdom. Uh, thank you so much for coming here. Okay, and I'm so happy for you that uh, God gifted you with such a good uh, boy and handsome as well as good in studies. Uh, okay, yeah, thank well, you. we wish you a happy family life in the future too. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, guys, now he's going to show us his skills in music. So here we go. We are going to sing Amazing Grace one stanza and uh, what a friend we have in Jesus one stanza. Okay, let's start. Amazing Grace, how sweet the sound that saved a like me. I once was lost. Once again, God bless you and God bless you all guys. Thank, Thank you so you. much. Okay guys, that's all for today's show and we are so sorry that his father is not available here with us because of some uh, important works. So anyway, Thank you so much guys. Bye-bye. Okay, Thank you. Bye. Bye. Bye.